and welcome to WPLMS tutorials in this tutorial we're going to learn about instructor statistics widget which appears in the instructor dashboard so this is a widget which shows the statistics of the course of various courses by the instructor this widget comes from the instructor dashboard so if you simply customize the instructor dashboard and go to the widget section here you will see the instructor sidebar and the and the widget that we are talking about is instructor statistics you can set the number of courses which appear in the statistics and whose graph is calculated and then the max and then the range value which means the marks for the course are divided into 10 ranges of 10 so this we'll see in just a minute So now let's say we have few courses, let's say we have software training and if we click on recalculate stats it appears as red which means that the there is no value to be calculated for this particular course. So if we go to the course and go to the admin section, here if we filter by status and check if there are any finished courses, so we see that there are no finished courses which means there is no statistics value. So if we go to the statistics, <coughs> here we can see that we have one student who got the badge which is most likely awarded manually as there are zero students who finished the course. So in WPLMS we can manually mark the student courses as submitted and also award them with the marks for the quizzes. So I'll just quickly add myself to the course. Okay. And then we are going to change the status of my course as finished course and I'll award the marks percentage as 89 so now if we go to the member stats section and now if we recalculate the stats it now has an average marks by the student so if we go back to the member section and here we can see the course stats so here we can see that we also have quizzes which we can manually mark as complete so now whenever we manually mark the quiz as complete it goes it comes under the submissions pending submissions for the quiz so if we go to the course admin submissions area in the quiz we can see that we have two pending evaluations and one is from the from the user which I just added and here we can give marks to the user so this is the demo data which seems to be not correctly appearing here so for now we can ignore this Similarly, we have one course submission as well. I think this is from some other user. <coughs> right. So now if we go to the statistics section, here we have average marks. And if we recalculate the stats, okay now if we go back to our dashboard and reload the dashboard page we should see a graph under software training as well <coughs> right as you can see we have the graph under software training and if we open the stats for the software training it shows that there is one user who got the marks of 89 so let's add few more users similarly right 
so first we mark the user courses as finished okay next we finish their quiz next we go to the submissions and evaluate the quizzes Okay, so now we have evaluated everything now if we go back to the dash dashboard and reload the page we see that we still have the score of 89 let us recalculate the statistics for the course and when recalculate it the page will reload and now we have a different average score and if we click on show statistics for the course we can see that we have the marks ranges as you can see the number of students which appear in various ranges for the marks you can also expand the So now if we list the quiz we can see that we have the quiz and if we check the statistics you can see that we have the various marks ranges for the quiz. So that's it from WPLMS tutorials. Thanks for watching.